Hey all, Bell Ranger here with a look at two of the horses from Seiju Sentai Gingaman, known as Power Rangers Lost Galaxy here in the States. We'll take a look at the box right quick here. So you can see the horse, the ranger, one of the weapons. Then on the back, here you can see each ranger has a horse. In Lost Galaxy, the Red Ranger's horse was only used in one episode. The other horses were never used. And also on the back are the instructions. I just wanted to show the packaging right quick. See everything is in a different compartment. And over the top of everything is this molded piece of plastic that fits down pretty snug over the toys. I had already unboxed Green Wind and put the rider on the horse. But I want to show you how to do Yellow Thunder. First I'll move him out of the way a little bit. Let me go over the figure real quick. It's a pretty basic figure. There's hardly any musculature on it at all. Movement in the head is limited to side to side. There's no movement in the waist. The arms of course go all the way around. Go in and out. There's a swivel here, so you can do the arm back and forth. And of course, there's movement in the elbow. There's none in the hands. At the hips, the leg can swing for, forward and backward, in and out. Flex at the knees, but there's no movement in the foot. Now let me go ahead and put some of the weapons on. Let me go ahead and show you these though. Because I need the hands free to hold the reins. On the inside of each ranger figure there's a little post there. And on the weapons there's a hole. So that's where you fit the weapon on. You get it in hand. Push it down so that peg goes in the hole. That helps the ranger hold the weapon. And of course, with yellow, it's got two cube blades. The horse doesn't look too bad. There's a little bit of detail. Like right here, you can see the tendons there. Muscles here a little bit. But it's pretty simple, really. There's no movement in the head. The legs go in and out. And that's it. Tail goes up and down a little bit. But that's all there is. And as you can see, they both have these little helmets on. But the helmets are different on each horse. The saddles are pretty much the same. Ginga Yellow's collar carries over to the helmet. This part here. You can see the little bands on the legs. And then the zigzag design that goes around the bottom. To help hold the rider on the horse, you've got these little stirrups. They go in those holes right there. Got one on this side. Then you've got one here. And then the stirrups you have a little peg that comes up and goes into the hole in the foot. Let me see if I can get this guy on here. Kind of get him posed a little bit. And here you can see, hopefully you can see the post and the hole. You push that up in there and get this one in. That went in pretty easy. When I tried it on the green rider, I had a heck of a time getting him to fit on. <laughs> Alright, now we get the reins in the hands. If there was movement or rotation in the hands, that would help on this. 
So it's kind of awkward to get those reins in the hands. There we go. Now you could have him holding the reins with one hand and have a blade in the other. Whatever you want to do. Or even a sword in one of the hands. You could have the horse running, I guess. But that looks kind of <laughs> funny like that. Too bad there ain't more posability in the legs. Of course, even then, if you could pose the legs, he might not want to stand up. It would be nice if there had been a little stand to put underneath here where it could hold the horse up, and then you could pose the legs any kind of way you wanted. The horses don't do all that much, but I like these. They're a nice display piece, and I hope to get all the other horses for the set. Right now, I just have Green Wind and Yellow Thunder. Thank you all for stopping by and looking at my little review of the horses from Seiju Sentai Gingaman. Y'all take care.